What's up guys? This is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh drinks review for you today. And today joining us is Lewis O'Brien again. Hello. How's it going? He's back for a second video and today, do you want to tell us what we're doing? We're tasting the Gabs Festival 6 beer pack. These are some of the coolest beers from uh from the Gabs Festival. Which, for the room. uninitiated, stands for the Great Australian Beer Spectacular. You have to be very clear about the tapula because they thought it was very funny, and now we do too. Alright, so yeah. first, do you care to do the honours with the um, Victorian Pilsner? Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Yeah, that's a good call, let's do that. Let's do that. They, they saw the box. That's they said what it looks like. Okay. Uh, the well, he's opening it. The Gabs Pack retails for twenty nine ninety uh, at Dan Murphy's, and it's exclusive to Dan Murphy's as Dan Murphy's is one of the primary sponsors of the Great Australian Beer Spectacular. What? A, oh no! Well, wait, let's get some. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you just oh, me first. Oh. All right, let's give it a sniff first. What we got? It smells quite like piss. I mean, yeah, like regular, <laughs> <laughs> quite normal, normal. No, normal. I mean like actual piss. Like, I went to a bus oh, really? stop and I, I like, yeah, <laughs> and you smelled it there. Like the underpass of a train yeah, station. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I'm keen for that, but let's, let's dig right in. What, what do you get from it, actually? Fucking hell, Jesus. A bit of a, yeah, it's quite a hydrating smell, you know? I'll smell that and... There is a bit of fruitiness to it, uh, aside from the piss yeah. smell again. No, but you know, like, when you're smashed and you're like, I need water. And then you, you drink a bit of this and you're like, I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> so it's hydrating beer. That's, that's the recommendation from Blue and Brian. Mm. Extremely inoffensive. They did, um, they did break down the beers. Actually, if I permit me to grab the box again. They did break down the um, beers in colour coding. So the green ones are easier drinking and the orange ones are stepping up. And the red ones are adventurous. This is the easier drinking one, obviously, as you, as you guess from Pilsner, as they're, they're usually pretty inoffensive. But there's not a whole lot going on with that. It's, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's a it's beer not... you could drink warm. Yeah, it is. It? Yeah. Mm. yeah, which uh, ours are not as cold as we've uh, liked, but we're, we're just copping it because we're keen to get on with the review. It's true. Um, no, it's not too offensive. Not too offensive. Just a bit like nothing. I don't know that I would um, order this at the bar or something. You know, it's just it, like if someone handed me, I wouldn't whinge about it. But if someone was like, "Oh, it's the perfect thing to hand to someone because it like it's nothing." You yeah. know, there's not a flavor in there that you'll disagree with. No, it's yeah, beer. It's, it's just what inoffensive. Yeah, that's that's you, you described it perfectly. Just inoffensive is the word to describe. And it's local. Victorian. It is local, but I think all of these are they're all Australian beers. So, uh, oh, but Victorian, it's even more local. State local. Uh, actually, no, we got. Uh, I'm trying to look now. Uh, we got a couple from New South Wales and one from New Zealand, but it's all real, it's all in the continent uh, continent of that Australia. That has uh, tequila in it from Mexico. Oh, it's actually got tequila in it. It's just using agave. Hmm, we'll, find, we'll find out what that tastes like. But for, next, we have the Rose Brute IPA. You just rolled your fucking hair. <laughs> Rose. Yeah. That's really French of me. He's impossibly English. Can't oh, be rude. Okay. Got a bit of that going on there. Okay, we've also got three glasses, so we don't mix up the taste. Fuck yeah. Oh, this is a good one, I think. Yeah, sorry, I jumped the gun a bit. That's alright, that's alright, I'm getting to it. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Lovely bit of head on there. Ooh. That's <laughs> awesome, boy. <laughs> oh, that does, that does have a nice berry smell to it, like yeah. typical rose um, berries in there, a bit of light fruit, strawberries, raspberries, especially raspberry, actually, I'd say. You know it's beer, though. It yeah. It doesn't smell like yeah, you know, nice. champagne, yeah. But on the sweet side. But I can't like that. I quite like that. That's, yeah. It's, it's quite nicely balanced, I reckon. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, yeah. yeah. It's not offensively sweet. It's, uh, it's, that's the word of the day. Offensive and inoffensive. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You got me onto something Or impossibly. I didn't say, oh, you keep saying impossibly. Ooh, fucking two, two standards in this little tiny can. 330 mils, 7.5%. I probably should have, uh, what's, what's this? This is, can't find it. Four point two percent the the pills now. I should probably tell you the alcohol content. Yeah, seven point five percent for this, and this is actually a Bridge Road beer. So. Pretty good beer. Nice, nice bit of sweetness to it. Nice bit of a beer balance to it. Really quite nice. I'll have another sip. I like it. Definitely doable that one. Coffee oh. and donuts, milk stuff. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this one. Yeah, I thought you were gonna leave it there. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Now, this one is deemed as adventurous. Brood for Adventure, it says on the can. Does it actually? It, it does. Limited release, Brood for Adventure. Ooh, so limited release. So reviewing this is absolutely going to do no favours to anybody if uh, you can't <laughs> get it again. But nonetheless, we're not reviewing it. Yeah, yeah, get in the gas pack. If you try this beer, if it turns out to be good, it might turn out to be crap. So you might not want to buy it. But um, we're about to find out very soon. Oh, she's dark. Oh, I forgot that I was supposed to be ex expecting this stout. Instead of that, you know, you think you think coffee and donuts. You know, you know, you think it's going to be more creamy and whiter. I mean, if I get a bit of head on there. Oh. Why is everything like in the sexual creamy whiter bit of head? You know, it's getting a bit weird. It's like I don't know. How I, feel I mean, like that's it. your way of interpreting it. It's fine. Yeah, I'll cop that. I All right, so what? Much better than mine. I do, I do. I don't mind a bit of head on my stout. It's like you gotta get it. You gotta, not you too much. Just like a tiny little bit. Um, so we got six percent here. Um, I think yeah, six percent, which is. 1.8 standard drinks. Um, this one is a Jesus Christ. This one's from New South Wales. Uh, if that, that tickles way. your fancy, <laughs> I know what New South Wales is. Thank you very much. I mean, for them, they're more Australian than we are. <laughs> what if what if you have international viewers? I don't. <laughs> Really? Although I have you looked at your metrics? I actually have looked at my metrics. I have 0.4% view viewership in Bangladesh. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> that is fucking all coffee. Although you yeah, do, there's do, nothing do. in that for coffee. But if you, if you get it on the back, you can, you can smell a bit of the vanilla from the donuts. <laughs> I'm just trying in different ways. Right, okay. I don't ever want to see that again. I might, I might edit that out, like put something over the top of you while you're doing whatever the fuck that is. But uh, <laughs> bottoms up, boys. Let's give it a go. Oh boy, that's cool. I really that was like not that. what I expected. That's really nice. I don't hate it. I just wasn't ready for it. I think I think I need to clear my misconceptions. I'm already pouring myself more because I know I want more of this. That's um, what we're what we're tasting here is something you expect is going to be a thicker drink, but then has like the kind of wateriness of a sour. And I think that's the best way yeah. to describe it. Yeah. Bang on. Yeah, and it's got it's got a bit of that like a bit of a sour aftertaste as well. It's really weird. It, it, they call it a sweet stout, but it's not that sweet. It's, it's, no it's, sweetness. It's, it's savory from the coffee and you know sour from grumpy donuts according to the can. Like that's not even a fucking lie. It says it right there. Grumpy donuts. If you like, know that that pang that hits the back of your mouth when you have a black coffee. It's in this, but it's sour, and it's mixed in with this weird kind of stouty, yeah. coffee, donuty flavour. It's fucking beautiful. I've never had anything like this. It is adventurous. This is adventurous as fuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was at... I wish I, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say I wish they warned me, but they did warn me. They told me it was adventurous, I just didn't pay attention, did I? I thought, well, oh, adventurous could be a bee. I guess it is. I, you know, that's... If you want to try that, and I highly recommend that you do, just even if you don't like coffee that much, which I don't, um... It's well worth a try, just for the sheer um, thrill of it, you know? Um, Wayward Brewing Company, what else have they made? Because I love yeah, it. Stock anything, I mean, at the nameless liquor store I work for does a stock anything from them. I say. <laughs> hey, we can crack open the um, last, you don't have to down it, it's going to take a while. The last light oatmeal stout from McLeod's. Now, this is a easier drinking beer. Um, this is the New Zealand one I mentioned earlier. It's only 2.5%. So I feel like that's oh, what actually? it means by last light. It's like your last beer. You okay. have, it's before bedtime. You're going for a surf, you want to be sober. I was going to say, I, I'm pretty sure it has first. to do with the uh, sunset on the bottom of this bloke's surf. Exactly. So. It, that's that's your nightcap there. You don't go to bed drunk. You go to bed having a lovely, lovely beer. You don't go water? What's that? You don't go, to, go have a water beforehand? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the old Gatorade before before bed. You gotta get those electrolytes. Uh, that's, that's the morning that's... after. You like whip it out at work and you advertise to everyone how fucking like smashed you were yesterday. I did that last time, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. If someone's holding a Gatorade at 8am, yeah. it means do not talk to me. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Alright, you're gonna have to pour your own one while I give it the old sniff. Fucking hell, they've written an essay on the back of this thing. Sorry if I'm gonna borrow it for a second. They've fucking written an essay. I'm not gonna read it to you. Because it's just, it just tells you where the brewery is after a quick glance at there, so not all that interesting, unless you really like the ideas, at which point you might want to know, but uh, yeah, this is a New Zealand one, like I said, um, the oatmeal stout, 2.5%, um, 0.8 standards, let's give it a sniff. A sniffed? Yeah, like a snifter, isn't that what it is? A snifter? Yeah, isn't that like oh, a tasting snifter. sample? A snifter? This is another coffee themed one, so I don't actually know what's going on here. Coffee and smoked malts, so... It smells like the exact same thing as the last one, just like with one third of the intensity. 
this, the coffee is different. Uh, I think coffee's coming through a bit stronger on this. I think because the sourness of the last one was like overpowering the coffeeness, but this one's the coffee's coming through a lot stronger. I perceive the sourness as the coffeeness of the last one. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's lovely. That's not too bad, but. You know, what use do people our age have for a 2.5 severe? Like, have it before work. That's lovely. You'll have that in the morning. To pretend I didn't hear that. You, you, have, a, <laughs> you have an 8 a.m. shift. Drink this at 7. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lovely beer. <laughs> this is a good beer to have if you have to drive home. Like, you want something that's a bit different. You want to drink beer with the boys, but you, you, have, you have to drive home afterwards. This would be a great beer if you could find where they stock it. It might be more prevalent in New Zealand. Next well, time no, you're in Northland. Never do any research. <laughs> but no, uh, it's in Northland. Northland's all about the, the dolphins, the sea, ooh. the good weather, and good beers. And good beer as well. Yeah, no, this is pretty solid. But um, if they could do a full strength one, I would be 100% recommending this. Even if you don't like coffee. Which no, I don't. Fuck it. It's like fucking. Have a super weak beer. This isn't even mid strength. It's 2.5%. It's so. It's below mid strength. It sure it's is. Low strength. I don't know how I feel about that. I love it. Alright, we're going to go for the dark side of orange. Now this is a weird one, because it says dark side of orange, cherry chalk nut brown. This looks like it has my name all, all over it. And it, it's recommended to serve at 6 to 12 degrees as well, so that's... That's what we've got, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, unfortunately, because we're following recommendations. Well, yeah. oh, it's got a bit of hit on this. Uh, I don't know, look at that. That's good can manufacturing. When it has head right out of the can, yeah, you know that there's something in there. It doesn't quite have the Guinness nitrogen ball. <laughs> I, I do like that ball, but Kilkenny obviously, because Guinness is, Guinness is like garbage, but uh... Oof. All right, Kilkenny or Guinness? Uh, no, there's no, it depends what you want. If you want if loads you want of cream, good beer, if you, you want cream, beer. if you like babies, then go for a Kilkenny. I do like babies actually, but I don't mind it. I can't drink it anymore. Got too drunk when I was uh, young. <laughs> so that's the word I'm going to use, young. All right, uh, let's give this a snifter. That's the word I'm using. I'm just committing to snifter. snifter. Yeah, that's yeah. not one of those uh, common <laughs> words going to be on here. I'm going to put those in the cloud text when you shoot videos. <laughs> snifter, snifter and um, inoffensive. <laughs> smells like a sour. It does smell like a sour. I, I was suspecting there might be a bit of sour, despite being a brown ale. There must be a cherry in it. It's got to be. I don't smell anything. Don't worry, I didn't taste any cherries, so... Mmm, <laughs> that's weird. That I've weird. been very positive up until now, but you might hear some negatives from me now. So I, I disagree, I quite like this, but it doesn't say what, it doesn't do what it says on the can. There's neither cherry nor... Ch oh, there is nut, actually. There's definitely nuttiness in that. But uh, there's not... nuttiness? No, it's like, it's like all nuttiness. It's like, that's a lot, a lot well, I mean, I taste them differ, but... That's all I'm getting. I don't. I don't get it. Like it's got the it's got the cherry smell. I assume that's where the salad smell is coming from. But it's, I don't. Yeah. Know. I, I suppose they're talking about dark chocolate. But when I talk about chocolate, I'm talking milk chocolate. You know, because I'm a piece of shit like that. When I smell a beer, though, I want to smell what I'm gonna taste. Mm. As opposed to whiskey, where you want to smell something different. You want to have like this weird, like little switcheroo. That's what whiskey does. It switches on you, does it? Yeah. No. Like a good whiskey, you'll sniff it. And it'll smell like something different to what it tastes like. It like kind of uh, incur it. It like entertains two different senses in different ways. But this, I feel like I've been um, I've been tricked. There's no cherry in this. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> that's I have to agree. I have to agree. Um, Six percent, one point eight standard drinks. Um, and they've actually been good enough to put the IBU, which of course stands for. I didn't even know that one. Got it. Um, <laughs> international <laughs> Business <laughs> Units. <laughs> it's International Business Units. Now, I don't know how uh, the scale of International Business Units, but I'm pretty still at 26 somewhere in the midpoint, especially after tasting it. It's not super bitter. Yeah, no. Uh, it's somewhere in the midpoint, I've wagered, because I, I know some beers can get over 30. Uh, I've seen a couple of those, so mm. they're more, obviously, the more bitter ones. But, uh, yeah, no. All in all, this isn't... It doesn't do what it says on the can. Now, he doesn't like it. I quite enjoy it, but... Don't come for it because you want to taste cherry chalk. You come for it because you want that nutty malty taste, which I really like my malts. That's why I'm not a huge fan of IPAs. Although this is a huge exception, obviously, because that was pretty fantastic. It doesn't taste like a regular IPA, but it's got the IPA strength. But um, if you're somewhere in between like a red ale and a dark ale or yeah. a stout, then this will do it for you. But if you're expecting some sort of, if you're a craft beer wanker that wants some like, you know, 
like some really cool orange nutty cool mix you're not going to get it here i'd expect this to i'd expect to have this at some random pub in wales to be honest if they just gave me a random stout i would be okay yeah, whatever's on tap please is what you'd say yeah exactly. end up with this yeah <laughs> cheapest stout please that yeah would be three pounds like <laughs> i wouldn't go that far this is, this is, this is, I, I quite enjoyed it i quite enjoyed it if this is three pounds at the fucking pub i would be over the fucking moon this yeah. is like, actually a pretty good beer but no, it is a good beer. It's just kind of, I don't know, with like, because all, all of these cans are silver at the top, except for, that's black. So you'd expect. That's the dark side of orange, isn't it? I know, you'd expect something magical out of this. But um, this it was the only stepping up beer in that selection, uh, for your information. Now, last but not least, we're going to go to the Jalisco Sour. Uh, this has, well, do you want to read us the thing while I'm pouring it? Uh, middle left. So, this is a sour beer, inspired by Jalisco, region of Mexico, the home of tequila. And it's got some, apparently, char-grilled pineapples, a punch of Mexican oh, spice, kettle ooh. sour to create that agave sour flavor. Mm, you can, plus. ooh, add a bit of salt to the can. Bit of salt. <laughs> Hashtag, rim it your way. <laughs> Let the go. Yikes. <laughs> Hashtag ribbit your way. Let's get it trending on Twitter. <laughs> so tweet us your favorite beer. Hashtag ribbit your way. Fuck. We're like, like a porn hub tag. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mug. With which are ah, yeah for the sour yeah yeah so we uh, decided to put the uh, sour in a separate mug because we didn't want to confuse it with the darks or the whites that would be it. fucking great <laughs> it would be grim now what does that smell Ooh. fish pineapple it's pineapple it's pineapple it's pineapple it's what it is well no I just I just it just smells a bit fishy you know it's not a bit fishy here so this smells like when you go on a trip to South America to find yourself and someone shows you a fruit that you've not heard of before. Okay, this ought to be good. Once you sniff it, you're like, wow, that's fine. Is that a very common experience? Is that what you did? You went to South America and- No, it's, it's not a common experience, but I hope it's one that people can imagine and apply it to the- <laughs> Oi, oi. <laughs> all right, all right, that's all. What else are you smelling? Just pineapple? Oh, uh, a bit of smoke in there. There's a bit of smoke, you reckon? Okay, it might be the spice they said they put in there. That might be what it is. Wait, did, didn't they literally say smoked pineapple on this? No, char grill. Oh, char grill. Char grill, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah good call. Cool. Alright, let's fucking let's smash it down, boys. Ooh. Mm. I think this is the most interesting beer out of the six. I like that. I love right. that we say it for last. No, I'm glad we said this for last. This is, this is pretty fucking solid. The, um, it's very smoky though, once you put yeah, it down. It's, it's all smoke. It's like fucking, you just lick the fucking top of a barbecue after it got oh, cold. It's me. Man, the aftertaste. Like in mm. the throat here, it's nothing but smoke. It's not bad though. I'm a big fan of it. Fucking big oh, yeah. fan. Have um, this around a campfire. Oh, hell yeah. You wouldn't taste the difference. Yeah, exactly. uh, this is 4.2% alcohol, and um, they've neglected to put the standard drinks on here, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. <laughs> Oh no, there it is. They haven't got the picture, so I got really confused. Do you know how they got the... Um, oh, they type it. Yeah, they, yeah, they got that, that picture right oh, yeah, there. But uh, yeah, they've only just typed it in 1.1 1. 1 standard drinks in the fucking small print right there. Oh, wow. Uh, That's tiny, I think. Oh, wait, glasses, man. I can't read that shit. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you're vegan. Yeah, that's why I said reminds. It's long I mean, past. yeah, if I had bacon, I would also say, oh, it reminds me of bacon. If I had bacon yesterday, I'd say, oh, the taste reminds me of bacon. That's well, just regardless of when I've had the bacon. Okay. <laughs> just, just, it just seems like... It tastes like bacon. seems like you've forgotten what bacon tastes like. No, but that's so, that but it smoky, smokiness. smokiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is a sour that you'll hand an old angry man um, and that hates the idea of craft beers and sours. You give him this, and he's like, oh, that tastes like a campfire. And he'll love it. He'll, he'll, he'll fucking love it. No, yeah, that was that was an interesting one. It is definitely adventurous. Oh, yeah. um, I think that might be my personal favourite. Maybe the Rose Brew, Rose Brew IPA. Um, one of those two. This might be my favourite beer in that it's something that I have one of. Like, like a really smoky whiskey. Like it's something that... Uh, it's very intense. It's definitely not something I'll buy a six pack of. Mm, I, I could smash like three of these. Yeah, it's a lot of smoke in there. 
Yeah, but I like it. I like the smokiness, you know? I'm a big fan of this big fan. It's a strange flavour I'm not used to. No, but yeah, no. It's a... That's kind of the point of these things. Yeah, like, the buy this so ones. that you can get one of these, have a weird smoky beer, enjoy it, decide whether you like it or not. Boom. Um, was that everything? Uh, any closing comments on any of the beers? Which one did you like the most? Oh, that's a hard one, though. What was the one I was freaking out about? Because about you, three of these were like the coffee one, flavors. Really weird. Oh, that, this was the most unique, the milk and donuts that... The one that should be thicker that's not? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I quite like that one, but no, yeah. this, this salad is definitely my favorite. Um, oh, it's so weird. So like I said, um, Gav's Pack, 29.90, uh, only at Dan Murphy's. Um, what would you give it out of 10? Oh, look. For thirty dollars, you can put much worse six packs together for less than that. You can just buy it. If you like beer, just buy it. All right. Well, I'm gonna give it a numerical rating because I'm sorry. Doing this channel. Buy it out of ten. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. So, um, most of the beers are pretty good. The Pilsner is a bit of a letdown. Um, yeah, especially because I thought it was gonna be ashy, and it wasn't. The Brut IPA is pretty solid. The Jalisco Sour is pretty solid. The um, Oatmeal stout's a bit of a weak one, but I guess you had to put a bit of strength in there at some point. That was good. But um, all in all, good. reasonably good stuff. So I'd probably give it a solid... Nine. Um, nine. Eh? Nine? Okay, you go nine. Um, no, I'm going to go eight spectaculars no. out of ten... I didn't think the rest of it was <laughs> uh, beers, I guess. Eight, eight spectaculars out of eight, ten beers. Um, eight angry craft beer... Brewers mustaches out of ten. Eight grumpy donuts out of ten spectaculars. Was that's it? That's what we've done. All right. Um. Once again, guys, this has been the Mexican. If you like the content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I'm gonna put right over his ugly mug. And if you want to watch another video, put watch the video right over my ugly mug. Um. This has been the Mexican. Follow me on Spotify. My, the link will be in the description. <laughs> well, actually, because last time there was no SoundCloud. I checked. <laughs> I did about. check. Are you better? <laughs> I'll be right. in the description. This is the Mexican and Lewis signing off. Bye.